Watch this now. But yet still the, the wrong way become the right way. When a priest stands before in a wedding ceremony and says for better and for worse, in sickness and in health. Hello, that's not in the covenant of God. So what you have done is married sickness into your relationship. And when problems come, you want to leave. But that's the covenant you made. You're quiet. No pastor should do that. Because that's not biblical. It does stir up something. There is nowhere in the word of God that you see that. Where did that come from? The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am. It never said rich, poor. There is no way you could go to God and say in sickness and in health. There is no sickness in God. You see how dangerous? So from the very first day you walk down the aisle, you tie up your marriage into lack and insufficiency and when it starts, operate your vex. That's a covenant you made in front of a priest. So that means things must happen to you. God says in Numbers 14, 28, you will have what you say. So you say, in sickness and in health, where that come from? Watch this. This I want to take the key. For better and for worse, me no one married nobody for worse. It has to be better. Hello, I don't know nobody who are married for worse. Let me see the hands of those who are worse. Because you have worse by yourself. Two away. We can't, we can't think about two for worse. For what, Sarah? You're worse by yourself. Now, I can't take on somebody else for worse than me by myself. That are worse times too. Lack of knowledge. No priest should do that. But guess why they do it? Because them say man of a style are people that when things get rough, them leave you. So they want to let you know that you're attached to a covenant that if things change, you should remain. But nobody should have to tell you that. So if you scamper away, it says that you never did love them in the first place. You're quiet. Hello, if your child drop and, 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 and bruise him knee, you don't say, I know, I know, I'm a picnic of that. No, you help the child. You dress the wound. You stay with the child. If your child do tracks at school and him come last, I feel picnic the same way. Although you might vex to yourself and say, Lord, the picnic come last. But I feel picnic. Watch this. You encourage him the same way. And you have your feed him the same way. You don't turn your back left him and say, No, but I find my number four. Yeah, we don't do it. So why then in a marriage, if the man lose him job, should you turn and burn him? Oh, Can I worm? I said, why then when the man don't have it like him used to, must you go and be kind to other males? Some now want to look pampas, sir. Uh. <laughs> why then? Because it worked two ways, you know, females too. Why when she falls short, when she loses the shape, when she runs out of the Coca-Cola system, when that wear off and she have two and three kids and she, and she, and she keg up, she keg all around. Wash pun. Hallelujah. Wash pants straight round. Because she have your kids then. 
All of a sudden now, she not at again. You understand me? She overweight. She have, she, uh, she have borderline diabetes. And, and, uh, and you know one time no, because you are atty atty. You see that? No. She's your same way from when, you know, these places here, from when, what you call it, ladies, the, um, the breast, the Bible, I can talk that because it's in Songs of Solomon. It, when the breast is, um, you know, round and shapey and stuff, and if you're not careful, them look like slippers. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> ladies, no disrespect, really. But, you know, I'm just trying to flow here. You have some ladies because they don't treat them, their, their bosom very well. Then they hang down like slippers. Like Calypso flips. It just, huh? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Is what? Is what me say? It's what, oh, it's what. They may like when you tell them. No, but it's, it's, it's a reality. And in no disrespect, and then I said with some ladies too, you know, because they, you know, they might be, have a few kids and out of shape, not caring for themselves too much. You know, after a while, you know, you see them look all girted up, them walking so tight. If them pull a button. <laughs> Everything drops, cheater uncle. Everything has to be held together with zips and buttons. Them call it gurgle. Gurgle up all to the neck after gurgle up because if you pull that, rakak. Is what? Hallelujah. I'm only trying to say to you. <laughs> it's what happened. Hallelujah. It's what we do. Asking God what you must do if you must change. Power, power, power. Get out of the chair. You're tired to say things happen or what it happened to your mother in The world will never be the same. Everywhere I go, I receive my favor. I lose the job. I lose healing. Body, realign. Radio Works International.